So after I found out that my opa lived in Israel and then my aunt asked about if I knew anything about being related to Albert Einstein and I told her no and then she died within the year before COVID and then after she died COVID happened within a month and then all of a sudden out of nowhere she's listed on the internet as being born in the Philippines, which I had no awareness of our entire relationship. And that was just really strange to me. And then my Google account linked to a Facebook account that was using my name, using Filipino language. I don't know exactly what language it was. It's the one that looks like it's like from Bali. This Google account used to have my name, my maiden name, but they would call themselves Amber Queen Victoria Louise Lowenthal. After I find out that my aunt's birthplace is changed to the Philippines, my Google account links to Amber Victoria Queen Louise Myers, which is my married name. So that fake profile that used to use my maiden name that's linked to my Google account that I cannot access that uses a foreign language to me changed my maiden name to my married name and I have never ever logged into that account. When I type my first and middle name onto YouTube, <laughs> it's pretty vague. When I type my first, middle, and last name onto YouTube, this woman comes up that does adult YouTube videos which I don't have a problem with except for the fact that it's super weird to me because my aunt who died after she told me that we were related to Albert Einstein after we found out my opa was from Israel her dad was from Israel she died within the year of lung cancer she never smoked or drank she just randomly got stage four lung cancer right before COVID hit she divorced a man who moved to Florida, who married a woman, who had a daughter, who had my middle name and first name. They, they would always say to me, did you know that Gabby's ex had, has a daughter or a stepdaughter named Brittany Amber? My name's Amber Brittany. So I type in Amber Brittany Myers onto YouTube Somebody else shows up named Brittany Amber. Myers doesn't show up on YouTube for her profile and she spells Brittany differently than how I spell Brittany. But my mom raised me in an adult store since I was 14 years old and would have me tell people that I was older than I actually was. So I type my first, middle, and married name into YouTube and somebody named Brittany Amber comes up who does adult YouTube videos after my mom had me working in her adult store. It was called Cupid's Closet and she ran it out of Ohio and she doesn't own it anymore but there's another Cupid's Closet in California that I've never worked at. And all of this is weird to me and it's like, if I just hold it in, I kind of just hold it in. But I feel like if I explain myself, then maybe I don't seem like I'm like... Because that's weird. Like, okay, your opa's from Israel. Hey, did you know we're related to Einstein? Oh, by the way, I've never smoked or drank in my life and I suddenly have stage four lung cancer. And then my ex who has a stepdaughter with your middle name and first name. I don't, I don't know. And then typing my name and then Brittany Amber shows up for Amber Brittany Myers on YouTube. And then the whole my Google account linking 
to somebody's Google account using a foreign language that I don't have access to on Facebook. It was like my Google account linked to a Facebook account that I have been noticing every time I Google my own name. And then that Facebook account changed their Lowenthal name to my married name. And they're using Filipino language, I think. I don't remember. It's the swirly one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And my aunt's birthplace suddenly changed to the Philippines. 